Good morning and a very happy Wednesday to you. You're having a nice beginning to your day or maybe a wrap up to your day if you've been working an overnight shift. And speaking of a wrap up, let me show you a look at the local storm reports that have come in in the past 24 hours. So we did have a few of those pop up storms yesterday with the summertime heat and that moisture in the air that acts as fuel for the storms. And so a couple of them became strong to severe, uh, causing a little bit of tree damage. So this dot right here is for trees that came down around the Mahan Gap area. We also had reports of some trees down in McMinn County, not on an official dot, but I got some photos from a viewer that I'll show later in the newscast of a few trees that were down in around the Delano area. So we did have these pockets of storms that move through. And once again, we will have the chance for that today. So when we talk about our rain chances for the days ahead, uh, overall risk is low. In fact, those rain chances at about 10 to 20% for any given day. But because of the summertime heat and humidity that we're expecting, any of these storms that do pop up during the afternoon and evening hours primarily uh, could strengthen to that severe criteria. So just kind of be mindful of that. I think the bigger problem in the days ahead, though, will be the heat. This is something that will be widespread each afternoon for our area, uh, especially for our valley locations. High temperatures for the next seven days above what's normal. We would normally end July and start August with an average high of 91 degrees. We're looking at the mid 90s. Even check out Friday that high of 98, so approaching the upper 90s. 90s. Now, especially the next five days, so today all the way through Sunday, we're going to be in that kind of bottom end of the very muggy category. There will be a little bit of a drop in the humidity late day Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. That'll provide a little bit of relief as far as that heat index goes. But for the next five days, the potential for the heat index to be over 100 degrees, generally ranging from about 100 to 105. I think it'll max out today at about 103, 104 on Thursday. Check out Friday 106 for that max heat index. So certainly a period of time we want you to follow those heat safety practices. Take care of yourself. Check on other people. Take care of your pets during the peak heating of those afternoon hours with that heat index. Now, any kind of work that you need to do outside, try to front load the day with the temperatures being comfortable. We have that combination of 60s to low 70s right now. 73 in Chattanooga, Dalton, Scottsboro at 70 degrees. 66 currently for Cleveland, Athens, and 63 in Murphy at this time. So for your walk in the park, again, exercise work, whatever it may be most comfortable for the morning time. Even at noon, look at that. It's already going to be 89 degrees. Mostly sunny skies for the day today, hitting 94 by 3 p.m. Conditions are quiet right now as we have a high pressure over our area. Clear skies, a little bit of that valley fog possible this morning. And as we look at future cast, it's going to be a mostly sunny day, but notice heading into the afternoon, just like yesterday afternoon, some of those green blips begin to show up. Those are those individual spotty thunderstorms that are possible. Quick bursts of rainfall, of course, that lightning threat and again that gusty wind too. Everything quiets down during the overnight hours. Calm for your Thursday morning. Head into Thursday afternoon. Yep, we do it all over again. That's going to be kind of one of those rinse and repeat situations for the days to come. So we know we're going to have the heat. We're going to have the humidity. We'll have a few of those pop up storms during the afternoon and evening hours, but unfortunately also that max heat index over 100 degrees, mm. uh, especially for valley spots Wednesday all the way through Sunday. Be mindful too if I know generally sunflower season is over with, but if you're going by a cornfield, if you're working on a farm, anything with that bigger vegetation, mm. more moisture in the air, the humidity can be even worse for you, those spots. Wow, I never thought about it that yeah. way. Electrolytes. Yes. Maybe a mix of Charging. coconut water. Charging with, your body. That's it. And water. Just have it on standby this week. Thank you, Allison.